a fruit bat has totally baffled a fair-like family when it was found hanging from their toilet on Sydney's northern beaches. The Zanketa family hid in their bedrooms after the creature, also known as a flying fox, appeared in their house. And as they waited for a wildlife expert to come and rescue the creature, it clattered around the house before settling itself on the loo. Student Adriana Zanketa, 23 said she thought they had a rat inside when she heard a noise outside her bedroom door, and went to investigate. But when she shouted to her brother Aaron, 21 for help, she said the creature flew towards him, and they realized it was a bat, and fled to their separate bedrooms. Parents Andrew, and Amanda, 50, and other sister and Elise, 18, also stayed in the bedrooms of their Fairlight home, and the family texted each other after calling for help from a wildlife charity. And when Lisa Wynn from Sydney Wildlife arrived, she found the creature hanging from the toilet seer. Mrs. Wynn, from Eastwood, said it's the most unusual rescue she's done. Once they get on the ground, they can't fly. These people have the cleanest, most beautiful minimalist house so there was nothing for it to climb up so it crawled down the hallway and the toilet was the only thing he could climb, she said. They said it's down there, maybe in the bathroom and there it was hanging on the toilet. Adriana, said, we just thought it was the most random thing. We thought it would maybe be in the corner. It's the strangest thing ever. Mrs. Zanketa said, we couldn't believe it. The confused creature, named Bob was given some apple juice and while uninjured he's under observation with another carer before being released. The family is still clueless about how he ended up inside, and say the only way it could have got in was through the dog door. Mrs. Wynn said anybody who finds a bat shouldn't go near it, as while people can be vaccinated for Elisavirus which bats can carry, the animal would be put to sleep if it bit or scratched contact a human. Bob's not the only creature found in a northern beaches toilet last week. A tree snake, christened Lulu slithered into the pedestal of a lavatory in Bilgula Plateau. The family cat had spotted the green tree snake under the kitchen fridge, and it was in hot pursuit when it made a dash for it. It caught its tail with its claws before it disappeared, into the toilet through a tiny hole in the back. Wildlife rescuer Lindley Greek from Elaine Heights, went to the rescue. I put my phone up against the hole and took a photo, and there she was, but I couldn't get my fingers in, she said. She fashioned an escape tube from part of a vacuum cleaner and gaffer tape, and the snake eventually slithered out. Mrs. Grieg said it's not unusual to find snakes in toilets as often they're chasing prey such as frogs who might head there. One of our other rescuers found a snake in St. Ives in somebody's bed, on an electric blanket, she said. If you need the help of animal rescue, call Sydney Wildlife on 9413-4300, or wires on 1300-094-73737.